good morning and welcome to today's three-minute Tanya inspiration. It's a powerful chapter. We begin chapter 14 today. I'll begin with a confession. Um, I don't particularly like tomatoes. I uh, just never cared for them much. If I'm eating a salad, I'm alone and there are tomatoes in it, I, I will probably take out those tomatoes. You know, in a group setting, I, I don't have to make a scene. But imagine someone came up to me and said, Rabbi, I, I want you to love tomatoes. I, I really want you to love tomatoes. So I have a proposal for you. And I want to give Rabbi Chase Taub credit for this incredible martial metaphor. And someone said, Rabbi, in order for you to love tomatoes, I'll create high stakes. I will give you a million dollars if you today can love tomatoes. And what I'm going to do is give you a lie detector test, a polygraph, with a series of 40 or 50 questions on tomatoes. And if the conclusion is that you love tomatoes, you'll get a million dollars. And if not, you owe me a million dollars. That's scenario one. Scenario two, Rabbi, I want you to eat tomatoes every single day this year, all 365 days, excluding Jewish fast days. You need to eat at least one tomato. And if you can do that successfully, I'll give you a million dollars at the end of the year. If you do not, even if you only miss a day or two, you owe me the million dollars. Scenario two. Scenario three, we'll do the lie detector test again. But instead of doing it now, we'll do it in one year from now. And you can do whatever you want, use whatever methodology you want during the course of the year to try to develop a taste for tomatoes. But again, at the end of the year, you love tomatoes, you get a million dollars. You don't love tomatoes, you give me a million dollars. Now, out of those three, and I see a few people listening live now, which of the three would I choose? Now, I definitely wouldn't choose number one. I, I don't love tomatoes, but I would choose number two because I don't have to love tomatoes. I just have to eat tomatoes. And I believe I have the discipline, if the stakes are high enough, which they are in this example, to eat tomatoes every single day of the year. It's, it's doable. It's doable to do that. So in today's Tanya, at the beginning of chapter 14, the author of the Tanya, the Alter Rebbe, says that being the Benoni, who is the hero of Tanya, is doable. The Benoni follows every mitzvah in Torah, and the Benoni stays away from all those things that the Torah prohibits. But here's the secret. The Benoni doesn't necessarily love doing every mitzvah. In fact, if you were to ask them at a given moment, do you have an appetite for this particular sin? They might say yes, but that's okay because the Benoni doesn't have to love doing everything that God loves. They just have to actually do it. Now, to be sure, so much of Tanya will be about building up an emotional connection and cultivating the love for that which Hashem loves. But here the Alter Rebbe gives us such a liberating message. We don't have to love every mitzvah. We just have to do them. And especially in America today, where we're, told, we're told to follow your heart and do whatever you feel at that moment. Look, there's truth to that, but there's also a danger in that. Not every impulse, not every desire should we act on right away. We have to know who is the real me, who is the real soul. And in today's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe says, that every single person has the power at any given moment to have their mind rule over their heart and make the right decision even if they are not feeling it right now. So next time you're told to do a mitzvah and you're not particularly in the mood and you say, why should I do it right now? Know there's value to that. Know that you are exercising this ability of the mind ruling the heart and know that right now you have the ability to be a benoni even if for just a moment. Have a great day.